In this guide we'll be showing you how to take the serialized BMS from an old iPhone battery and spot weld it onto a brand new battery. Doing this will get rid of the non-genuine battery message, restoring the battery's full function. Please note this part requires spot welding and is only recommended for use by technicians at level 3 or above. iParts for You takes no responsibility for any damage caused during installation. By purchasing this item you confirm that you are aware that this product requires spot welding which needs specialist tooling and knowledge which you have. iParts for You cannot be held liable for any issues or injuries caused in the fitment of this product. Start by removing the first protective sticker that's holding the BMS followed by removing the protective bracket. Gently unfold the BMS with a spudger and remove the second protective sticker from the battery. Next cut the BMS off with scissors. Ideally you should use ceramic scissors to cut them as it minimizes the risk of creating a short circuit. When cutting make sure you do not press the two plates together or connect them with another conductive material as this can create a short circuit. After cutting the plates there may be some overhang You'll need to cut this with a blade or something similar to even both the plates out. Now you can lift the plates with a spudger. Be gentle when doing this as they can break if you use too much force. If your plates are slightly bent then use tweezers to flatten them. Put the BMS in a holding board in preparation for the next step. Now you can grab your core battery and inside the pack there should be a battery adhesive as well as the relevant protective stickers and brackets. Start by folding the battery plates back and peeling the tape off. Clean the plate with a cloth and some IPA until all the glue residue is off. Put the battery plates into the board holder to get an idea of how much you need to cut off the plates. Once you've made your marks you can cut both of the plates. Hold the battery plate and BMS down together with a spudger and bend the excess of the plate backwards to secure it into position. Do this for both of the plates. Set up your spot welder to the correct setting and plug the cords in. Change your output power setting to 3 and change your mode to automatic. Next, hold your probes on both plates until you hear a click sound. Apply the first protective sticker to the battery. This is a double-sided tape that helps prevent the BMS from unfolding. Spudger the protective sticker into place. Make sure that when you're applying the flat side of the sticker is facing away from the BMS. Peel the protective layer off once finished to reveal the sticky layer. Now you can fold the BMS board into place and put the plastic protective bracket into place. Next, put the second protective sticker onto the battery, making sure to fold the sides.
and that's it. You can now put the battery into your device.